What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Electric Productions. I'm super glad you guys decided to stop by and check out Slay the Spire with me. Slay the Spire is a card RPG style game and it is in early access on Steam right now for about $15 so it's a little on the pricey side and for me anything over $10 starts to get pricey. Anything over $30 starts to get towards the realm of what should be close to a AAA title. There's a lot of AAA titles that drop for $30 to $40 so again for me $15 is a pretty big investment for a game. Um, but with that being said, sometimes there's some really excellent games that even encroach on the AAA territory for $15. Is this one of those titles? Let's jump in and find out. So let's take a look here. We've got statistics. So I've only played for 23 minutes. I gave it one run through first just to kind of get an idea of what kind of game it was so I'm not sitting here bumbling through it with you guys. Here is our relic collection. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. I have unlocked a new character. I did pretty decent on my first run through. I've got some uncommon relics here. No rare relics as of yet. And I did beat the first boss who was not too terribly challenging, but he is the first boss. Uh, then there's the card library. So I've unlocked a few different cards. And what we'll do is we'll jump in and we'll actually just take a look at the game and you'll get to experience some of the cards as I go. But you can see there's a fair number of cards here. And again, with it being early access, my hope is is that uh, even more cards will be added later on. So I've got the Ironclad, who's your starting character. He's got 80 HP, 99 gold, and Burning Blood. At the end of combat, heals 6 HP. That's a pretty good perk. We've also got the Silent, which is a deadly huntress from the Foglands, eradicates foes with daggers and poison. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards, giving you more choices. That's Ring of the Snake. She also has 99 gold, but only 70 HP. I'm going to stick with the Ironclad, because I really like that 6 HP healing after each round. Level 1. Exori Exordium. Exordium. Greeting, I am now. Okay... Choose. Obtain a random rare card. Obtain three potions. Lose eight max HP. Remove two cards. Well, let's do a random rare card. So, Fiend Fire. And I didn't really get to read Fiend Fire. Exhaust your hand. Deal seven damage for each exhausted card. And then once it says exhaust there, that means that's it for that entire once you run out of cards, if you're doing a battle, it will reshuffle uh, your discard deck and put it back into your playable hand. But if it's an exhaust card, then it will not be uh, shuffled back into your hand. That's it. Once per battle. Okay. Now, I think I was granted that, I think, because I beat the boss the last time I played through. Because the first time I played the game, that gentleman did not greet me. That whale. <laughs> um, so we have different choices here. So let's take a look and see what the paths look like. Um, so here's the boss. You can see we get quite a few battles in between. Fires are where you can enhance a card or you can rest up and gain some HP back. These mystery rooms are mystery rooms, you guessed it. And we've got different uh, random battles. So, you know, we got a bunch of mystery rooms up here. Uh, looks like a store. Um, treasure chests here. There's some mystery rooms here. A little bit harder of a boss enemy there. Another chest. Well, there's these. That's got to choose there. Um, let's see, fireside, fireside, mystery, mystery. Looks like this route over here is better on the on the left hand side. Sorry. And then if we're gonna go, let's go. Let's do it. Um, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Looks like going to the left could possibly grant us more. Okay, so it looks like we're going to hang hard left for this entire, uh, the entire play towards the boss. And then it's, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's not a super difficult game to grasp. Um, you've got three energy to start here until you start getting some perks that change that. Your potions at the top are playable at any time and cost no energy to utilize. Um, you can draw a pile at the start of each turn. Five cards are drawn from here. Click to view the cards in your draw pile. They're shuffled. And here's your discard pile. Again, if a card is exhausted, it will not get put back into your draw pile uh, until the end of a battle. They telegraph what they're going to do. So we've got here, um, he's about to attack. So I want to make sure to at least do one defend. But this here, exhaust your hand. 
it deals seven damage for each exhausted card. Well, we've got five cards here. Five times seven is 35. So it would be really, really tempting to go ahead, and I'm actually going to do it. So you take the card, you drag it to the item, or to the enemy, rather, sorry. And we did 28 damage. And that's it. We still have uh, one uh, one energy left, but we can't use it, so we're just going to end the turn here. Now he's going to attack, and he's going to do 10 damage to me. Okay. But remember, I get six back at the end of each turn. So for me here right now, I'm not too worried. He's going to do 10 more damage, and this is going to give me five block. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to play it safe here, and I'm going to boost my block a little bit. And that should buffer me from his next attack. Deal eight damage. And so we're going to do the eight damage and the six, and we're going to take this guy out. And there we go. 30 gold stolen back, 20 gold, and add a card to your deck. So let's let's go ahead and do that. You could just skip the cards, and it'll happen automatically. Uh, but I like to pick the cards that I'm going to get. So Infernal Blade, add a random attack to your hand. It costs zero this turn, but it's exhausted immediately. Okay. Deal damage equal to your current block. Now, you can really boost your block uh, really well and then utilize this body slam to do a ton of damage. Some of your later block cards will give you 15 block um, a pop, so you can do up to 30 damage. You know, if you activate two block cards for thir for 15 each and then do your body slam, whenever you play an attack this turn, gain four block. Um, that's okay. That's not great. I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad either. I've never done the Infernal Blade, and I'm kind of curious to try it, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. And here we go, we're at the Merchant, we have 119, and let's see what he's got to offer. Now the Merchants actually offer you a fair amount to buy here, so you've got, if your HP is full, gain um, additional uh, energy at the start of each turn, but that costs 244. We can't afford any of these really good ones here. Uh, card removal service, remove a card from your deck, the, uh, the cost of the service is increased by 25 for the rest of this run, so it goes up in price. And you can get some negative cards, it's possible to do that, you get stuck with some negative cards, so you may want to actually take them out of your deck so you don't have to worry about them. Uh, grant 2 dexterity, draw 3 cards, gain 12 blocks, um, so right there, gain 12 block. So what you could do is you could actually buy a couple of these. Remember that body slam card where you will deal damage equivalent to how much block you've got? Well, you could actually buy a few of these potions here and put your block up to like, let's say you buy three of them. You're looking at 36 block, then play that body slam card. That's, that's a tactic. All right, we've got some good cards on display here. So let's let's go ahead and buy one. At the end of uh, your turn, for each attack played this turn, deal one damage to all enemies. Eh. Add a random attack. We already got it. Exhaust one card. Draw two cards. Deal four damage. Place a copy of this card into your discard pile. And now that takes zero. So that's a free. That's just a freebie. Gain five block. Deal five damage. Nice. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. That's awesome. So we're buying that. Okay. We only have 28 left, so we're just going to leave. And let's proceed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So Bash is a really good one. So we are going to... How do I want to play this? I think I'm going to use Bash to increase his vulnerability. And then throw a little defense on. And then end my turn. Okay. And we're going to lead off with one strike, two strikes, and we're going to do a defend. And end the turn. And there we go now. This would be a great time to use deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. Here we go, guys. Eight damage for free. 
and the enemy intended intends to inflict a negative effect on you and attack for seven damage. So if we can, let's try to take this guy out. Exhaust your hand, deal seven damage for each exhausted card. All right, so this should do. Yep, that should finish him off, 21 damage. 10 gold, a weak potion, and add a card to your deck. Drop kick deals five damage if the enemy is vulnerable, gain uh, action point and draw one card. Deal 12 damage, can be upgraded any number of times. That's pretty awesome. We're going to go ahead and I tend to be, if you guys know me at all, if you watch my channel, I tend to be more of an offensive aggressive player. Oh, we're definitely doing this. Nine damage right out of the gate. And then we're going to bash him. And then we're going to defend. Oh, and then end the turn. Apply three weak. Weakened creatures deal 25% less damage with attacks. We're going to save that for the boss. This should finish him off. Boom. Dead. 15 gold, and what are we going to take? Close line. Deal 12 damage and apply 2 weak. That is awesome. Shrug it off. Gain 8 block. Draw a card. Deal 4 damage and apply 1 vulnerable to all enemies. Um, oh boy. I'm going to go with this because I'm thinking ahead to the boss. And let's find out what our mystery is. A strange blue humanoid with golden helm approaches you with a huge smile. Hello, friend. I am Cleric. Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Heal. 35 gold. Heals 20. 50 gold. Remove a card from your deck. I will take your healing. Thank you. Very good. And we're going to go on to... We'll fight first, actually. That way we can heal up the campfire. Uh, now, here we go. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky... Exhaust your hand, deal 7 damage for each exhausted card. These guys have 34. That's 28 damage. Deal 12 damage. Can be upgraded any number of times. So I could deal 12. And I could... No, I can't even. So it behooves us to use this on one of these guys. So let's use it on this guy right here. So we can take him out the next round. We'll end our turn. Now we're going to get our butt kicked pretty hard here. These unplayable cards really suck. They're going to go into my deck, okay? And when they get they'll they'll leave once we um, once we beat this this round. But for right now, it can make it challenging. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile, okay? Well, that's 0. So, let's That's a shame it didn't have one more. That's a random attack to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Deal two damage four times. So that's obviously eight. Um, and it costs nothing. Try to take out the sentry here. We'll start working on the sentry. Deal eight damage and apply vulnerable for two turns. I'm going to have to... I hate to do it, but i got to take this guy out just to lower the incoming uh, damage that I receive. So we're going to get two more cards in our hand that are unusable, <clears throat> unplayable rather, and we're going to take eight damage. Now we got a bunch of strikes here and a defend. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and we'll just peck away at this guy here. Um, do I want to take the eight damage or do I want to defend and block some of it? Well, we're about to go to a fireplace. I'm going to go ahead and just continue with uh, my more offensive front. So we'll take our 8 damage, take two more cards that we can't use, and unfortunately now we're going to get our cards shuffled back in, and now we're going to have to start dealing with these wound cards. So there's two of them that are unplayable. Thankfully, I can use Bash to finish him off, give myself a little bit of a buffer there. And we see a lot more. So Mind Blast, deal damage equal to the number of cards in your pile. That's seven. So by all means, let's make use of that. We're going to strike. And then you can see that's it. That's all we can do. 
these wound cards really start to uh, wreak some havoc for us. And sadly, you cannot... Um, there we go. Uh, you can't save up your action points. Okay. A lot of wound cards there. But thankfully, our two strikes should finish this guy off. And there he goes. We get six health back. A Centennial Puzzle. First time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. And then add card to your deck. Gain one vulnerable, deal nine damage. Gain two um, of your action points. Apply one weak to all enemies. Now you notice up here we've got these at the end of combat. Heal six HP. So these are permanent perks. Well, for this playthrough. And let's go to the fireplace. <clears throat> we can rest. Heal 30% of your max HP, so we get 24 back, which is pretty good. Or Smith. I'm going to have to rest just so I can get my health uh, back up. But smithing a card is never a bad idea. And here we go. When less than 50% HP, this guy's going to split into two smaller slimes. So let's uh, let's just start off dealing some some damage to this guy, but let's also defend a little bit, because he's going to try to deal 16 damage to me. Deal 12 damage, can be upgraded. Okay, there we go. Remember, the first time that we deal, or the first time you lose HP combat, draw three cards. So we've got some choices here. Again, this is zero to use, so we're going to use it. And then... We definitely have to use this. Look at that. 15 damage. In fact, it's a shame because if we... Um, he's going to split. If I could have gotten him a little lower first. But they're both coming in here pretty, uh, pretty weak. Let's gain our two. Let's do our Mind Blast. Let's clothesline this sucker. And deal 9 damage. And we're going to strike at him and we're going to kill him. So you can see now we're starting to build up a pretty decent deck here. We can gain 2 energy with this energy potion. And what card should we take? Gain 2 strength at the end of your turn. Lose 2 strength. No, oh, I'm sorry. Gain 2 strength, period. At the end of your turn, lose 2 strength. I really like the C in red. That's really useful. And here we go. We're going for our loot chest. 81 gold. At the start of boss combat, heal 25. It's pretty awesome. So let's see here. We can go fireplace, or we can go this route. We're going this route. Our health's okay, and I know it would be nice to upgrade, but I'm going to deal with it. So this guy's curled up. On taking attack damage, rolls up and gains 7 block. Let's go ahead and boost our, uh, our points a little bit there. We've got a lot of a lot of defense. So let's just let's boost up. Here we go. Let's take these attacks head on. We'll, we'll be able to block most of them. This guy's going to do 7, so we'll only take 3 damage. And then that was the first time we took damage, so we get more cards. And what do we got to deal with here? Seeing red. There we go. Exhaust your hand, deal 7 damage for each exhausted card exhausted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 42 damage. Holy cow. I shouldn't have actually used the energy card that gave me more energy. We could have taken this guy out with a single hit. The enemy intends to block and use a buff. Hmm. So he's trying to block. 12 damage if we did this and apply 2 weakening. Adds a random attack to your hand that costs nothing. So what we could do is... No, that wouldn't work. I was going to say we could play Clothesline, Infernal Blade, and Bash so we could make him more vulnerable, do 12 damage, and weaken him some, and then do Infernal Blade so we could play a card for free. But it wouldn't work out that way. And that would only do 20 damage with another attack. I hate to use it because it's not much fun, but this is the card to use.
could it go? Man, down to one health. And sadly, we can't... Uh, click uh, cards are drawn from here at the... Can I? I can't, though. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. So we got to end the turn, sadly. I would have loved to have been able to play another one. So he bellowed, so he's uh, he's given himself a buff. That's not a big deal. Um, we, we could finish him off here. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. So that's just three, but that's going to be enough to finish him off. Oh, no, he's got... He's buffed. Um, so we're just going to do um, a simple attack on him here. And then we're going to do our 12 on this little guy, and that's going to finish him off. So, not bad. 19 gold, another energy potion, which is nice. And let's add another card to our deck. Deal 5 damage twice, 10 damage isn't bad. Man, that's seeing red. Oh, we'll do this just for fun, just so we have a little more variety here. And in we go. Now, I've never gone up against these guys before. Um, we got 13. Awesome. So guess what that means, guys? We can take out one of them immediately. Then we can use seeing red. We can do 12 damage to this little guy right here. And then hit him and kill him. Buff ourselves. Not bad. We took out two there. Okay. So we still have some of our... Okay, that's not bad. And we got our extra cards because that was the first time we took damage. Exhaust your hand and deal 7 damage. This guy's only got 22. So... If I leave four cards in my hand, that's enough to take him out. And I've got seeing red. What do I want to do here? All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. We're going to use strike on this little guy. And we're going to use strike on this guy again. And then we're going to take this guy out completely. Okay. And then we're going to end the turn. He's going to hit me for 9, but we're going to finish him off next round. Let's use our Twin Strike. There we go. 17 gold, and we're going to add another card to the pile. True Grit. Gain 7 block, exhaust a random card in your hand. At the end of your turn, lose 1 HP and deal 4 damage to all enemies. Hmm. Yeah, what the heck. Let's do combat. And let's see what we got here. We got another random... Oh, that's right. This is... So we have 182 gold. Now, one thing I would love to see added to this, this is just me personally, but I think it'd be pretty cool if you could sell some of the cards in your hand, too. I mean, maybe they wouldn't be worth very much, but, you know, I, I, I think that they're doing that on purpose. I think that would actually work against the game, but I think it would be neat nonetheless. So we can't do any of the really cool stuff, unfortunately. Um, exhaust, let's see, draw three cards, deal three damage, draw one card, That's and it costs nothing. That's pretty sweet. What about this one? At the start of each turn, gain two strength. Create a copy of a card in your hand. Shrug it off, gain eight block, deal nine damage, place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. I like that one. And I like that one. And I like that one too, actually. I think that'd be pretty neat. So that's it. Let's leave. And proceed we go. One thing of note here, you'll notice you can only hold three potions at a time. So it actually behooves you to use some of your potions so that you can gain more potions. Oh, man. And here we just spent all of our money. Upgrade all your cards for the rest of combat. Deal three damage. Draw one card. At the end of your turn, for each attack, play this turn, deal one damage to all enemies. Man, I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look at what I missed out on. That stinks. Don't tell me it's another merchant, please. Oh, it's just a, it's just a battle. Oh, okay. All right. Um, deal 12 damage, can upgrade it any number of times. We're going to do this. All right. 
Should I just take this little guy out? Let's do it. Strike, strike, and turn. All right, so he's gaining three strength. We need to take this guy out quick. So we're going to mind blast this dude. Let me just check first before I do anything dumb. Deal three damage, draw one card. Let's do that first. All random attacks to your hand. It costs zero. Add a random attack to your hand. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Deal ten damage. If this kills the enemy, gain three permanent max HP. Oh, man, that's... Ah, uh, that stinks. We're going to do Seeing Red. We're going to Mind Blast this fool. We're going to Clothesline him. We're going to Strike him. Oh, snap! We did it! Oh, <laughs> yes! And plus three permanent HP. Oh, yeah! Swift Potion, draw three. That's okay. What card do we want? Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and deal 16 damage. Gain five block, deal five damage. Gain 12 block, nope, we're doing this because I am a mostly stacked with attack right now anyway. So for me, got it. <clears throat> for me, that's a great card because I don't have a lot of defensive cards. Uh, so we're gonna, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll just hit the fireplace really quick here. Should we Smith? We've got pretty hell, we've got, our health's in pretty good shape, so we're going to smith. And do you know which one I'm going to do? That's 16 damage, huh? Exhaust your hand. Deal 7 damage for each exhausted card. Yeah, yeah, we're doing this. Oh, yeah. So now, if we have a hand of 7 cards, that's 70 damage. Like, you know, when you take your first attack, you get extra cards. If we got lucky... We'd be in really good shape. So here we go. Here's the boss. We got a Hexaghost here. And deal 9 damage. Place the card from your discard pile. Let's see. Attack, exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Deal 16 damage. So we've got one defend. So if we do this one, I think we're going to do that in headbutt. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to do that in headbutt. Okay, and let's do headbutt. We gain two energy. It's not it's not worth it yet. Alright, here we go. Oh, remember at the start of boss combat, heal 25 HP. So that's why our health is full right now. Um We're definitely gonna do this. We're gonna defend. We're going to do a single strike, and then we're going to hit for 16. So we've already got him down almost 50. He's going to hit me 7 times 6? What? We're about to get whomped, guys. The first boss was a lot easier than this. Holy cow. I mean, Mind Blast is free, so let's do it. That was dumb. I'm such an idiot. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can hit him for 60 damage. <sighs> we're not going to do anything better than that, so we're going to hit him up. We've already got him down over 100. So let's end turn. He's going to hit us for 10. Okay. I should have used this at the very beginning. That was ridiculous of me. Deal 3 damage. Deal 12 damage. 6 damage. Uh, let's do this. And do... Let's do a wield. Create a copy of a card in your hand. Nah, it's okay. Um, I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to hit him for another strike. And I'm going to defend a little bit and end the turn. That way we can handle this attack he's about to do. Unplayable. So that's that's fine. I can I can handle that. 
What do we got going on here? Deal 9 damage, place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay, I don't... Deal 5 damage twice. Let's do it. Let's hit him for a strike. I'm going to hold off on this energy potion, because, I mean, we can only do 6 damage with these two. So, he's defending anyway. Now, his strength's up. That's not good. So, the burned we can't use. Might as well use this. Flash of Steel. Twelve damage. Um, what's he at? Seventy-eight. I'm gonna keep womping on him. That burn card hurt me. So we're going to exhaust all non-attack cards, so that might get rid of it. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Oh, we can't choose which card? We can choose. Good. We're drinking the potion. That got rid of the damaging card in our hand. And gave us double the attack on him. This is going to be a close one, guys. Another burn card. we got to finish him off. I need to be able to do 40 damage. Oh, choose a card. That's it. End turn. All right, here we go. He's going to hit us for uh, 14. Now it's my turn. I got to finish him off. Mind Blast. Deal equal numbers. There we go. There's Mind Blast. There's Flash of Steel. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Deal 16. We beat him. Ha ha ha! Yes! That's the game, guys. I mean, sorry this video was so long, but I think it's worth it. I mean, it gives you a good idea of what a run-through looks like. 3 HP at the end of each turn for 5 turns, and we add a card. Lose 5 HP, but gain 2. Draw 3 cards. Block no longer expires at the start of your turn. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw 1 card. Offering seems like a pretty awesome route to take. And then you get the treasure chest, and you get to choose a relic. Runic Pyramid, at the end of uh, at the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand, draw one less card each turn. Potions always drop after combat. Gain that at the start of each turn. All enemies start with two strength. Ooh. Now, do I gain an additional one where it keeps giving me more? That's tough. I would go for the potion one. It's the safe It's the safe bet, and it won't stack against you. And then you go right into level two, which is the city. Now, it does increase in difficulty. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but remember, as you play, you unlock more things that become available to you uh, to choose from. Your, your deck uh, flushes out more and more and more. Um, there's a map, which we're looking at right now. Um, and then your settings. But guys, that's that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Um, I, I'm not going to lie to you. It, it does. It does increase in difficulty. The game's $15, as I said at the start of the video. But if this looks like the kind of game that just draws you in, that you really enjoy, I mean, this is the kind of game where you could sit down and you could play a hand at the end of the day. And, you know, it's going to take you... I mean, that was 30 minutes right there for us to do the first, the first level. And to the best of my knowledge, there's no way to save, sadly. Um, let me see. Settings... <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Abandon run? Save and quit. Oh, okay. So it looks like you can save and actually quit. Well, that's good at least because you could do like 30 minutes and then save and then come back again fresh. And as you can see, your health is restored um, at the beginning of the new run. You know, you've got your gold. So this is a game that you could, you know, parlay a run over a few days if you needed to slash wanted to. And I'm going to be honest with you too. This is the kind of game where they need to have it on tablet if they don't. And I'm sorry, I don't know if they do or do not. But this would be the perfect style tablet game just to play in bed and sit there and, you know, touch your cards and sounded weird um you know it, it would just touch interface would work very very well for this game uh but guys thank you so much for stopping by i really really appreciate it if this looks like a fun game to you support the devs and take a look at it and i look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of the production and until then everybody game on bye bye guys yeah.